Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to review Linux uh, very lightweight Linux distribution. It's called Ubuntu based on Ubuntu. So here you can see currently it is working on my system and you can see all the programs that are pre-installed and some of them have been installed by me. You can see for the programming I have installed Sublime Text uh, free code editor and under sound and video you can see I have installed Oresti for audio editing then handbrake to compress the size of videos and Kden Live a very popular free cross platform video editor. Simple screen recorder is a free tool to record your screen activity and VLC media player. Then under system tools you can see all the available applications. If we go to preferences, you can see LX2 settings. Then we also have the option for additional drivers, alternative alternatives, configurator, and some other options. And if you click on about LXUT, you can see some information. Advanced, easy to use, and fast desktop environment based on QT technologies. LXQT would not have been possible without Hazard SGT project and its many contributors. So, this is the LXQT desktop environment. And you can see a very simple, lightweight may start menu. If you go to Files Manager and L, you can see it is using PCMan FM UT File Manager. And one of the features that I like about Linux File Manager is that you can open, you can right click and open in a new tab, just like you do in browsers like Chrome or Firefox. If you want to view hidden files, you can simply right click and choose show hidden to view all the available hidden files. And under sorting, you have all the available options to sort files by file name, modification date, size, type, owner and group. If you go to folder properties, you can see all the information about your folders. You can see the uh, available free space and total size. If you go to permissions, you can see the owner and group and some other settings. From the main menu, you we have options to create new tabs, windows or we can also create new folder or blank file. You can also view file properties and folder properties or you can use keyboard shortcuts. We also have the option for split view or you can press F6 so let's try F6 So this is the split view. So you can press F6 again to close the split view. If you have created custom settings for this folder, so you can also preserve settings for this folder and then for the toolbar we can see menu bar and permanent filter bar option you can also display the path buttons or show locations 
So now here you can see the location under the path bar, or you can show path button. So let's try locations and preserve settings for this folder. Under the go menu, we have options to go to home. We can use R plus home keyboard shortcut or you can click on any of the available options. Under the bookmarks, bookmarks we have options for documents, music, pictures and some other options and under tool you can press F4 to open the terminal here. or you can also open this as a root you will have to type your password if you want to move some file that need root permissions so in linux sometimes beginners find it difficult to move files from uh, one folder to another because of file permissions or sometimes you might copy files from one user account to another and you will see a lock icon for because of the file permissions and if you go to help you can see the about so earlier uh, I was talking about the file permission so let me show you how it works if we go to downloads folder you can see i have a lot of folders here now if i copy this nitro share folder let's go to computer we have file system let's go to opt lamp sdoc and here you can see WordPress files. I have installed WordPress using the LAMP server. So now if I right click, I cannot paste this file here. So this is because of Linux permissions. So how we can fix this issue? Go to tools and open it as a root. Now type your password and you can see SCDOCS directory and now you should be able to paste your selection overall this distribution is fast but one thing that I found is VLC media player crashes all the time on this system I don't know the exact reason and another problem is that if I press print screen uh, uh, button on my keyboard, it doesn't take any screenshot. So I have to go to the start menu and search for screenshot tool. And now I have the options to take a screenshot of whole screen, current window only or capture an area of screen. So let's take a screenshot of the whole screen, click OK and now I can save this. So it is irritating. I have also tried Fn plus print screen keyboard combination but it doesn't work on this Linux distribution. And VLC media player is also con like crashing constantly. And if we talk about programs, so where is it? Yes, under graphics, you can see color paint. Color paint is a very lightweight alternative of MS Paint. So in Windows, you can use MS Paint to edit your images quickly and easily. 
and in Linux you can install color paint so whenever I install a Linux distribution I install this lightweight program to edit images some Linux distribution also offers GIMP but I don't like it because GIMP is an advanced tool so instead of GIMP, uh, GIMP I prefer to use color paint it's very really lightweight and it's just like MS Paint and then you can also install your favorite programs or you can also remove them very easily LibreOffice is a very popular free alternative to MS Paint for Linux users so you can see all the available options LibreOffice Calc, Draw, Impress, Math and LibreOffice Writer under the internet menu you can see we have a pre-devil is pre-installed to share files via Bluetooth and then Firefox is the preferred choice for Linux distributions you can also install Google Chrome if you like and your transmission is a BitTorrent client for Linux and you, you can also use Quasil IRC shared client we have also discussed LibreOffice then I have installed Sublime Text for the signed uh, video you can see available options and if you go to system tools you can see we have discover a software center for Linux distribution and we also have FCITX so let's open this one Exactly, what is this? And then you can see H stops or H stop. So you can see currently it is using around 720 MBs of 8 GB memory. So you can see it is a very lightweight Linux distribution you can even install it on older computers then you can see KDE partition manager to create or manage your partitions you will have to type your root password see an error permission denied possible incorrect password and now you can see all the available partitions and size of partitions KD partition manager is a free tool to create or manage or resize your partitions then we have multi writer which is an application to create bootable USB file USB device now if you go to preferences and electricity settings you can see all the related settings if you go to appearance you can choose the style we have breeze windows and fusion then you can also choose from the light or dark themes we have option for the icon themes so let me show you the default icons and if we change them and apply now you can see 
I can help you change. For the FX scheme, you have options. The first one is ambience. Let's apply this one. And now you can see I can has been changed. I can color has been changed. You can also change font. So you can see the live preview. Then you can choose the brightness, date and time or desktop settings. If you go to desktop settings, you can see the wallpaper settings, slideshow option and advanced. And you can hide or show home, fresh computer and network icons from the desktop. You can also choose the icon size and font size. Then we have more settings for keyboard and mouse, power association, desktop notifications, locale, monitor settings and more. If you go to additional drivers, you can install some missing drivers for Wi-Fi and other devices. As you can see it is searching for available drivers and no additional drivers are available. You can see the option. Then we have KDE connect settings to connect to your mobile device and if you go to software sources you will have to type your password. You can see all the available options. Ubuntu software then we have other software updates, authentication and additional driver options. If you go to system tools you can see discover at the software center for this Linux application and you can see all the available programs so you can simply click on this to install we have photo management program DigiCam then for digital, digital painting we have Krita and KTorrent, Kden Live and many other programs so as you can see color paint and Kden Live are installed so that's why you can remove them if you want them or you can also search for your programs or you can you go to application add-ons or applications to find your favorite applications we have some categories if you go to graphics you can see we have blender and gnu image manipulation program also known as gimp and many other programs you can also click on install to view all the available or installed programs. We also have Moon Package Manager to manage all the installed programs. You can check for updates or you can click on full upgrade. So let's click on check for updates. Now it is updating software sources. And you can see the number of packages installed. And here you can see 151 upgradable. search get in live here so you can see get in live is installed 
getting live linear, uh, getting data non-linear video editor data is also installed so overall this is a great distribution for beginners and uh, but you will uh, have to install some additional programs to make it more usable otherwise it is a very lightweight and fast distribution and I just saw some problems as I discussed earlier Alt F4 doesn't work to close a program or to view the shutdown menu the print screen keyboard shortcut doesn't work to take a screenshot you will have to go to start menu and search for screenshot utility to take screenshots and VLC media player is also crashing on this system thank you very much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe for more videos about Linux.